This video shows you how to replace your Audi A6 key fob shell casing, presumably because aesthetically it doesn't look pleasing, it's peeling or it's been damaged. The first method is pretty much straightforward. All you need to do is to insert your old or defective Audi A6 um, key fob into the external um, shell casing and in this case we've got a silver casing. Before you insert your key fob ensure that the open door, the closed door and the open boot buttons you know are working. Ensure that the red LED light you know flashes when you try to open your door, you try to close your door or you try to open your boot okay once you're certain that you know you haven't got a battery issue and that the red led light is flashing you can insert it back you know into the silver casing and test out you know the buttons on the silver casing to ensure that when you actually press on them that they open the car so test it out again okay but this should work okay and you can see it looks it looks aesthetically pleasing which can be subjective as we've all got different preferences so I'm just pretty much going to repeat the process, you know, for a blue external casing. The manufacturer's caveat highlights that they are premium soft and that they provide full protection. Anti-scratch, anti-soft, and they are compatible with the Audi A1, A3, A6, Q2, Q3, Q7, and the TT, the TTS, R8, S3, S, S6, and the RS3. So I'm just repeating the process, testing out the, the buttons to make sure that they work, that the LED red light flashes before I insert, you know, the, the key fob into the blue casing. Before inserting the fob into the shell case, ensure that you take out your key rings, otherwise that could um, be an impediment to getting the fob into the um, shell casing, but you can see um, it fits perfectly fine. Aesthetically pleasing, you know, it looks brilliant, it looks fab. And that's about it for the first method, which is pretty straightforward and doesn't entail changing the actual um, housing of the, of the fob. For the second method, which involves changing the original casing in situ, click on the link in the description. And the link should take you to the Audi Retrofit new key for shell replacement tutorial. You know, it's a complete step-by-step -step guide of how you can change or swap, you know, your old case in, in situ for, you know, your new shell case replacement housing. And that's about it, really. If you found the information useful, don't forget to subscribe, like and share. Helps the channel grow and hopefully catch up with you later. Goodbye.